By way of introduction, I am Father Bob Dieberding. I was recently elected by the College of Consultors to serve as diocesan administrator for our diocese. I will be serving in this capacity until the appointment of our next bishop. One of the last formal acts performed by Bishop Gaynor as diocesan administrator was to write a letter regarding the 2014 annual appeal. And one of the first formal acts that I have been asked to perform has been to offer a homily regarding this same appeal. The theme for the appeal this year is sharing the mission. It is important to understand what mission means. Lexington is often described as a mission diocese, and indeed it is. Throughout our many counties and all our parishes, whether large or small, we are indeed a mission diocese. That mission is to continue the mission of Christ, to bring the good news to all people, to make Christ present to all our brothers and sisters in all that we say, in all that we do. This mission, this being sent, is part of our baptismal commitment. For it was in our baptism that we became special to God, we became his children, his sons and daughters. We became brothers and sisters to Jesus. We became temples of the Holy Spirit. Moreover, with that inpouring of grace at baptism, we were given a responsibility, a duty, a challenge. We were given a mission. It was the mission Jesus gave to his disciples before he ascended to the Father. Go into the whole world, he said, and make disciples of all people, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is sometimes known as the Great Commission. It was Jesus' invitation to the apostles to continue his work. And that same commission was given to each of us at our baptism. We are to continue the work of Christ. We are to be disciples. And so when we speak of our baptism, it must not be thought of only as a time in history when we became a part of the church. Surely it was that, but it's so much more. Being able to identify that we have been baptized, that we are Catholic, is not enough. Jesus told us that it is not enough to say, Lord, Lord, we must live our faith day in and day out. To be a baptized Catholic, then, is a generous and loving gift from God. And being a baptized Catholic involves a duty, responsibility, and challenge. Being a baptized Catholic is a commitment to be a disciple of Christ. We find this expressed so well in our diocesan mission statement. Guided by the Holy Spirit, we witness to Christ's saving love as disciples and missionaries in the 50 counties of our mission diocese. As a Eucharistic people, we celebrate the sacraments, promote justice in word and deed, minister to the spiritual and material needs of all, and evangelize by living and sharing the Word of God and the teachings of the Catholic Church. One of the ways we can fulfill our baptismal commitment, be faithful to our mission statement, and share in the mission is through our diocesan annual appeal. Each year, as parishioners in this diocese, we are invited to renew our commitment our mission of bringing Christ to all our brothers and sisters throughout our 50 diverse counties. The needs addressed by the annual appeal are real. Throughout the years, because of your generosity, funds have been made available to assist the work of Catholic Charities, give assistance to our parishes, help with the funding of Catholic education and with clergy and diaconate formation, and support diocesan-wide programs that educate and evangelize. Your generosity sustains our diocesan commitment to be Christ to all. We are most grateful for your generous gifts in the past. And I now ask you, 
please be generous once again. If you have not been able to share in the mission in the, in the past years, please consider fulfilling this responsibility to be faithful disciples of our Lord this year. One of the important ingredients in our annual appeal is prayer. We pray that God will open our hearts to reach out to those in need. God will never be outdone in generosity. May I close with a thought I saw once on a church sign in a rural community here in Kentucky. The sign read, Give to God what is right, not what is left. God love you all.